like. So again, in this next one, you can see that I have R. Right? Now let's, again, identify. And the reason why I'm focused on this and I'm saying, hey, you should be paying attention for this. Because even though for this, this might be obvious, you're like, I know how to do this. This is good. But I mentioned it later in this course, we're going to get to other inverse operations. We're going to get to squaring, square roots, cube roots, fifth roots, and so forth. So understanding the opportunity of inverse operations is important. You can see my r. There's only two things that are happening. It's being divided by 20, and it's being subtracted by 5. Again, use the reverse order operations. Undo addition and subtraction first. So even if you don't like the fraction, you should see that all I simply need to do to get rid of minusing 5 on both sides is to add a 5 on both sides. right? And we'll, talk about the we'll deal with the fraction when it comes. So now I basically have 1 equals r over 20. Now again, what is happening to my variable? My variable is being divided by 20. To undo division, you're going to have to multiply. Just like when you had multiplied, you had to divide. So we will divide by 20 on both sides. And then 20 times r divided by 20, that divides into 1. And you're left with r equals 20 times 1, which is 20, or 20.